Hello and welcome to another Fairy Friday. I've got the Fairy Tarot here and I will give a general reading for what's going on here for all the people who are watching now and just general reading about the, the energies that are going on on the planet right now. And before I get into the cards with the readings, so general reading and then private reading, uh, personal readings. <clears throat> Before I get into that, I would like to say some things what I'm doing because most people don't really know. So <laughs> it's good to say them more often. Can never be said enough. Um, so I love energy healing um, because it works, because I learned it, because it changed so much of my life and it's changed so much of the ah, of my clients lives and it's just awesome so everything is like based on energy healing even the readings that I give um, it's all energy you know and if you are if you are someone who's completely new to energy healing then I would recommend you to get started with the group healings that I'm doing on Sunday. So my group healings in Germany time zone at 11.11 11 in the morning. And it only costs 11.11 11 euros. So it's very affordable, um, but it gives you the opportunity to experience some Reiki energy and some energy clearing <laughs> it's a, it's a good way to to get started and to really feel energy healing if you're completely new for it um and if you want to go deeper i also offer uh, distance healings where i use reiki and other shamanic healing tools with the spirit guides the archangels um not so much the fairies though in the in the distance healings but Lots of very high vibrational spirit guides are working with me and the team um, to clear energies, clear chakras, auras, um, cutting karmic cords, like releasing toxic relationships and um, programming affirmations into the, the energy body that are really helpful. Um, yeah, empowering people with the distance healings. So that's what I also do. And um, if you want to go even deeper than that, if you want to talk with me directly, um, there's also the one-on-one -on -one sessions that I offer, one-on-one -on -one personalized sessions, um, which are very intuitive. And yeah, it's, it's, just, it's almost the same like this distance healing, but then I can also interact with you and we can talk about things. We can, there can be an emotional release opening up for some things that may be blocked. And we may even go back to past lives or um, yeah, shift some, some energies that get stuck. And that's, that's better for one-on-one -on -one sessions where we can really interact. Um, although I learned past life regression and I did it, um, did many regressions. I don't use, I usually don't use past life regressions in my sessions anymore uh, because I have my methods um, that I've created myself and also guided by my spirit guides that are faster and more effective than taking hours and hours to explore past lives. But if you want to explore past lives, that's cool. <laughs> but what I do in my sessions is like, I go directly to the root cause of any problem, any sickness, any uh, relationship problems, anything, anything that's stuck and kind of messed up right now. So we go just directly to the root cause, we deal with it, it's good, it's faster. So we might even clear like two or three past lives in one session in that way, which is really cool. Um, what I also offer is um, 
if you want to learn healing, I also offer Reiki attunements. It's good to get started with energy healing. You need to know Reiki. And then what I'm building up currently is a plan to teach shamanic healing. So connecting with, um, connecting with the fairies and connecting with um, all sorts of spirit guides, the angels, the ascended masters, the unicorns. Your higher self, learning about the chakras, uh, maybe even reading the Akashic Chronics, uh, Akashic Records. Um, I don't know, music, <laughs> all sorts of things <laughs> that you can use to um, really shift and create energies, clear energies, transform them, um, astral traveling, all that awesome stuff. I want to teach that to people. So if you're interested in shamanic healing, let me know. And also on top of that, if you're on a really high vibration, if you're an energy healer already, if you know Reiki and all that stuff, um, if you want to go beyond that, um, if you want to connect with cosmic guides, I've heard the, the Arcturians come from the ninth dimension and they're really powerful and I can say that, for example, um, my mom and I, we, we, we're both Reiki masters and we use energy healing a lot. Um, but she, there were some things where, she, where that wasn't even enough for the healing uh, she needed uh, when she had cancer. So what helped her was to connect with the Arcturian sound healing. And she listened to that, cancer is gone now. So she listened to that while she was in the chemotherapy, so she could really stand strong. Uh, she got her hair back, um, hair growth, what else? The, the heart was damaged from the care, chemotherapy, and there was these, uh, what do you say, arrhythmia, rhythmic problems. Uh, and it was life-threatening, but with the sound healing, it's gone. Gone completely after one session. Uh, oh, there was distance healing. There was one distance healing session. Yeah, <laughs> most people don't know these things. That's why I need to say that. Um, Arcturian sound healing is very highly vibrational, very highly effective, very fast way of shifting energies. Not only for healing, this is just to start we didn't even have breakfast yet <laughs> which is just the kindergarten base i believe that there are so many things um that can be used with the Arcturian sound healing i've been even starting to use it with the akashic records which is like you change your whole reality <laughs> it's really powerful but with great power comes great responsibility that's what we learned from spider-man and yeah, if you want to become a superhero, <laughs> I believe we all have these superpowers and they have to be activated. And um, you can learn very much from yourself. And also, naturally, you need some coaches, some teachers who help you to remember who you are, to activate you, like all my teachers that I had. The human teachers and the spirit teachers. Okay. Good. So now let's see. Hello to Marie. Hello, Julia. You getting a reading? Marie, Brandy, and Leah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, I'm starting with a. I hope you're all doing well. And be blessed with the best. Let's see, fairies. What's going on? The candle is on, that's good. Twin flame fire is burning. I think I'm finally clean. The energies for the collective. One card. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Sorry, I'm looking at the comments. <laughs> hello. Looking at the camera. General reading for you and for me and the entire human race. 
there are people living. So you better care about the living. <laughs> Make a better place. For the dream shaman and his beautiful face. So, Mr. Smile says, seven is the number of spirit and going within and meditation, doing yoga. The chariot, or seven is also like analyzing things. It's, it's a little bit like a detective. Excuse me. <clears throat> the chariot is a very positive energy. Success that comes from dedication and self-discipline. Celebrating. Celebrate youth. Your accomplishments being in the spotlight. Oh, being in the spotlight. Okay. She looks nice. So we got some dragonflies here. <sighs> yes, and dragonflies reminds me of the dragon power that we all have. We all have our dragon guardians. Yeah. And it brings the, the power. It's like the Kundalini, the chakras are also the spine. They are connected with the dragon power, of course. But also dragons have, her, have special abilities. And we all have our dragon guardians. And here are even two dragonflies. So some people have even more dragons. Um, it's like balancing the feminine and the masculine energies. And when you have that balance, you're really moving forward fast. And seven reminds me of going within, finding that strength within. When you find you're in a balance, you don't have to look so much on the outside anymore. And it sounds like a cliche, but it's true. It's, it's been my experience over and over when I'm like, uh, maybe it's there, it's over there. But then, then you start to struggle and once you just let go and say, okay, it will be fine, it will be fine. It's, it doesn't sound logical, but I'm just letting it all go now. I'm just relaxing. I mean, I feel kind of stuck. So why should I let go? I think I need to work harder. But then I'm like, okay, let's give it a try. Let's just let it go. Let's just relax. The universe come, brings all the good things to me. I trust in that. I trust my intuition. I trust my guides. I trust my guidance. I trust myself. I love myself. All the good things are coming to me. I uh, listen to Abraham Hicks recordings. All the good things are just coming to me. It's all in my vortex and they're just coming to me. And all the good relationships are just coming into me and out of the vortex and into my physical reality. And all the money is just flowing to me and all the good energies are just flowing through me and I'm just feeling better and better and better every day. And I just keep embracing those positive energies more and more and more. <laughs> so once you heard, listen to so many Abram Hicks recordings, you start to talk like that. <laughs> like I just did. And it just flows and everything lights up. Um, yeah. Enough said? <laughs> Makes a lot of sense to me. <laughs> Thanks for doing this, Andre. Thanks for doing this, Andre. Thank you. <laughs> nice comment. Okay. Hello, Amy. This is the general message, the chariot. Um... Use your inner dis discernment, find, find the treasures in your treasure chest within yourself and the dragonflies, they will just <whistles> so easy once you let go and go with the flow. We all know this, but it's good to repeat these things. Repeat the chariot, the wheel spinning. Just repeat, repeat what works. Use your discernment. What works for me, what does not work for me. What does not work, leave it. And if it works, why should you, why should you stop a running system? 
And if it doesn't work, try something new. And if it works, do it over and over again. I sometimes get bored with things, even when they work. I don't know, I'm just, I sometimes like who I am, but this is a good reminder for me that I just keep going with the things that are working. There's a card um, in some of the angel card decks that says, uh, I think it's a life purpose deck that I keep seeing many times uh, over and over. And it says, you're on the right path. Keep doing what you do because it's working. So when some th something works very well for you, keep doing it. Maybe improve a little bit here and there, but just keep swimming. <clears throat> Water works for me. Okay. The first reading will be for the person who guessed, sorry, I have to look it up again. I think it was Deb. Don't know if she's watching now. My heart just explodes right now with energy. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Twin flame. Maybe you're sending me your blessings and your hugs because my heart just feels like feels good. Keep doing, keep doing that. Send me your blessings. I like it. Um, oh, that's the live stream. So, seventeen. That's so good. Deb, Deb Griffin. A free reading for Gryffindor. She will see it when she will see it, <laughs> when she will watch the video. So this is the free reading for Deb, because she guessed the song right that I was humming, singing, singing yesterday. With love from me to you. La di da da di dum dum da. Number one, number uno, El Magician, the magician, the magia. Bling. <clears throat> the magician. I've never seen this infinity symbol before. It's good. Just keep with the flow. Some kind of heartache. Just release. <clears throat> release the energies given through the fairies to the angels. Use the infinity symbol. Whew. It's like you're connecting your brains. Just drawing the infinity symbol is very powerful. Also in your chakras. If you're working with chakras and you can use it with so many things. Just, it just keeps cooling your mind. That's something that you that you might be letting go, like some kind of heartache, maybe some worries, something you're worried about. Could be something about a job, something about kids. But you don't need to worry so much so the the energy of worrying makes your heart heavy. You can just release that and give that to spirit. And um, you're responsible for your own life. You make your own destiny. You, I mean, of course, when you got little kids, you got to take care of them, but um, if you worry about other people too much, it's it's not good for everybody, for anyone. <laughs> and um, if you feel like you want to help other people, um, give it to a higher power and ask if you can do anything or just say a little pr pr prayer or give your blessings. Sometimes you can't help everybody. Sometimes you can. 
um, the fairies say you can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success and to be out of stress. So, <sighs> I feel you need some release. Ah, ouch. I feel you need some release so that it doesn't hurt your heart so much. Um, maybe practicing some kind of relaxation stuff. Um, breathing, meditating, using prayer and good affirmations, relaxing. Don't worry, be happy. And the fairies are very happy because they want me to read the guidebook. Hey, Jackie! Okay. All eyes on you, my magician. There's nothing, dear Deb, there's nothing you can't accomplish. The fairies are magical and can help you manifest whatever you need in order to be a success. The resources you require will just mir miraculously appear. Oh, money, innovative ideas, creative abilities, or friends who are willing to help out. Understanding what you already have versus what you're in need of allows the fairies to send you the perfect gifts. Ta-da! You have amazing skill and creative talents that you can rely on. However, it's also wise to seek out good advice from experienced people. Allow others to open doors for you. <laughs> what kind of joy, 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 joke did I, joy, joke, a joke of joy. Gryffindor, open the Gryffindor. Open the doors for your ancestors. If you need me, I'm here. Allow others to open doors for you or make introductions to those who can point you in the right direction. Maybe it's good for you to look at your ancestors for healing. Our magician, that's, that's what I said. So it was here. Our magician has accomplished his climb to the Glastonbury Tor. It's a very nice place there. I love the tour. Which uh, the tour to me feels like a father energy. Where he accessed additional wisdom and protection. Mm -hmm. A very protective energy, very stable. The tour has a very deep voice. When I was there physically in Glastonbury, I channeled the Tor and it feels like um, the Tor always spoke to me every day and he said, Andre, please do your meditation and count to 10 again. And I'm like, oh, really? And he's like, please count to 10 again. And it was so stormy. I was like, oh, he's like, close your eyes and count to 10. And that's a good challenge. You feel like you're blown away by the winds and storms of what's going on around you, but you're just standing there <sighs> taking 10 breaths without your eyes open and the wind is blowing and I'm like, and then I'm opening my eyes and I'm like, ah, oh, I'm still here. Gives a lot of stability. You can do this, you're the eye of the storm. If you focus on your your breath. Now he is walking along the easier part of the path toward the base of the mountain. Additional meanings of this card. Taking charge of your life. Yes, please. The ability to do anything, of course. Use your discernment. Success due to excellent training. I hope so. The talent to accomplish great things. You got that. Visualizing your hopes and dreams. That's always a good idea. <laughs> Blessings. And the cleansing water. Showers my voice. And my stomach. 
Me stomach. Okay, the next person who will receive a reading is Julia. Julia, blank space. Are you watching? Yes, of course. Julia, you get a, you get a reading. And for everybody who's watching, I would like to do the personal readings on a mutual exchange basis. So if you want to, the easiest thing is to just give a money donation on my PayPal. And I think I, yeah, put the link in the, in the description here so you can send me some money on my PayPal. Um, or if you want to do like readings or healings or massage in my back. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you would like to do. For everyone who's watching, if you want a reading, please let me know. What do you want to do as an exchange? So we really value this here. What do you want to do as an exchange? And then I will give some more readings. This card here <clears throat> is for Julia. No, sex does not count as a mutual exchange. <laughs> it's good for both, but that is not what I mean. So, four of spring. Be grateful. You have, you can also cook food for me. <laughs> That's a good exchange. Be grateful. You have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness. A contented personal life. I like it. I like this card. See this castle here. So even if there's not a partner around, it's like a magic fairy man. And um, maybe in your memory or maybe in your dreams, your visualizations, this guy is there and you just, you stay dreaming and you're just enjoying how good it feels to have a dance with him. And just being in the flowers and in the castle, daydreaming. Take your die to dream your life away. And just just enjoy. Just enjoy the feeling. And manifesting that. And releasing all the resistance to that. I am just daydreaming. I love my life. I am powerful. I am beautiful. I am free. I love my life. I am wonderful, I am tapping on my body, and I am me. So you just feel good. And um, no matter what's going on around you, just switch it off, be in your daydreams, and manifest, manifest good things in your life. Um, trust that it's coming, give it to your guides. Have a dance with Merlin. <laughs> dance with Merlin in the flowers with the fairies. <sighs> yeah. Good. I don't know where the ex came from. I don't know where my ex came from. <laughs> Of course, sex. Yeah, whatever you do in your daydreams, it's up to you. Just imagine. Oh, please, if you have. If you imagine yourself with other. with a specific person, please ask them for permission when you do anything. You can ask their soul. 
<laughs> just saying. My space bar is broke. <laughs> Julia, you don't have a blank space anymore. <laughs> Your space bar is broke. <laughs> Now you can make really, really long words. Okay. That sounds good. I will pay dollar. That's good. Did I pronounce that right? Let's see. What do you want to know? What's that? <sighs> Play the harpa. Huga el harpa. Nine of autumn and three of awesome. So, get some good fruits here. Fruits of your labor. And this guy does some really good magic here. He's blessing all this stuff. And he's like doing some energy work and like I'm using the symbols here and you know, I'm shifting this here and I'm blessing my food and it feels so good. <clears throat> Reward yourself for all your hard work, being happily and successfully self-employed, putting my feet on the ground. Cherishing your time alone. Some good grounding with some good food. Autumn is the energy of the earth. Something grounding, some good foods. There are some fruits here. Fruits and foods. <laughs> That's not funny, Julia. <laughs> Sophia! All right. The divine wisdom. So, Sophia, enjoy the fruits of your labor, get some good food. I don't know if you have a specific question, otherwise I'm just talking. <laughs> come du from Sveria. You come from Tyskland. So, reward yourself, have some, it's, it's, it feels a little bit exquisitive for me, like there's some, the grapes and the fruits and the figs. I have to be careful what I say here in Germany because what that means in German. Um, and there's a harp, so really like some nice relaxing music, maybe some glass of wine, taking a day off for yourself and just enjoying <laughs> I don't know where that came from finally free from a struggle finally free from a struggle yeah, you've put some hard work into it maybe look into <sighs> well, maybe on fairies no. just keep talking okay Look into the seeds that you've been planting. So be grateful what you've already done and just see it blooming, blossoming, um, fruitful. <laughs> Let's see what this card says. Three of Autumn, follow your passion when it comes to your career, be the best at what you do, being compensated for your creative talents. So, that could be um, that you have been doing many things and um, like you have some great accomplishments and um, I don't know what the struggle is, if it's re related to career, to re uh, uh, language. Is it related to language, communication? 
a struggle in communication, career or job, be the best at what you do. So it's, it's like picking, picking all those good things that you're good at and um, doing what you really want to do. The, this, this fairy, this guy here knows what he's doing. Um, he looks like he's really, he, he's enjoying his time. It's like he's playing, but he's like, I'm, I'm just shifting the energies here and there. And, um, but he knows what he's doing because he's got all those, he feels good about the accomplishments that he's got. So when you struggle, um, there's, there's a song that I've written that's called The Mountain and it goes, uh, the, um, the text is the, the mountain, mountain before, yeah, the mountain before me is nothing against the mountains behind me. So all that you've been through, when you feel like you're struggling, just take a little look back and you see like, oh my gosh, I've been through this forest and I'm still here. And I'm free like a Gryffindor. And I'm the queen of my life. <laughs> and wow, how strong I've become. So I can do this. I just can be playful and play through this stuff. Stuff. Anything more clear? What do you want me to to put another card. Bala 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 bala. Something about music. Chill out to the music. Dance. Relax with some good music. It can help you to shift more easily when you when you got the right music. <clears throat> it helps to let go of the worries and the struggles. Um, so you got another card. It's ten of winter. What about dragons? You got a dragon for sure. Ten of winter. The resolution of difficulties. A weight lifted off your shoulders. The end of an addiction or codependency. <sighs> Something feels draining. Um, could be some kind of relationships, some kind of miscommunications, and it might feel draining for you. And just seeing, seeing the good things in it, seeing what you, you have accomplished, seeing what you can do, what you're best at, and really appreciating that for yourself. It's like, I know I can do this. I'm good at this, no matter what they said. And Ted of Winters, it's like she's, uh, she's moving on. The weight is lifted off. She's coming more into her power. And the diffi it's, it's getting more easy. The difficulties, they just, it's like you're dancing out of it. Um, what am I talking about? <laughs> Does that make any sense? What about dragons? Um, I'm getting blue. Could be that you have a blue dragon guardian, which is a very peaceful, peaceful dragon. Um, the blue dragons are, I think they help with, um, with relaxing, creating calm, trust, peaceful, helping you to find the peace within yourself and find solutions that are peaceful. All right.
Or what do you want to know about dragons? I also have a a video on my YouTube channel. Um, on Sundays, I'm I'm doing the video series about certain spirit guides, and there's also a meditation to connect with your spirit guides on my website for free. And um, episode number two was about dragons. So if you want to know some more things about dragons, you can watch the episode about dragons. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Happy. Everybody happy? <laughs> ah. Anyone else? Marie, the distance Reiki healing. Um, the distance Reiki healing, um, you can find it on my scheduler page, which is also when, when you go on the website. But I think when you go on uh, service, services on Facebook, um, you will find the, the link to my scheduler and then you can... Oh! Then you can book the sessions. That's not the price, but it's kind of funny. That's my music. It says Sweet Lucid Dreams. It's like a reminder to myself to go to bed earlier, but I'm always like, I'm a night owl. <laughs> I keep reminding myself to go to bed earlier, but then I don't do it. <laughs> But the music is nice. Yeah, the distance, distance Reiki healing um, with the energy clearing, aligning the chakras and the energy body, cleansing negative attachments. Uh, it's uh, 88 euro. Yeah. And the distance Reiki um it's kind of nice because you don't have to stare here at the screen it's so good for the eyes you know um in the distance reiki sessions you can just lie down and relax or just sit in something comfortable and make yourself comfortable because it's distance no need for webcams um something I want to say. Oh, it's um, something I, th I think I need to say is that you, what some people don't know is that although it's, it says on the, on the, on, on the schedule, it says it's, it's for an hour, what happens, I think all, always, it's, it's that when you receive energy healing, it, of course it has long-term effects, but um, you also take in the energies over, let's say over the whole day, kind of. It's like things just start to shift in your, in your day and um, you will feel that things may come up during the day or suddenly you feel the energy here or there, um, although the, the, the session is over. Um, it's because you're, you're taking it in. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's, it's like a very big, big meal <laughs> and your body just takes it in, in portions, although I'm, I'm sending it over the hour. Uh, that's kind of cool with energy healing. Um, that you're kind of digesting it over time. 
so it's it's not really an hour it's more than that <laughs> Karen would like a reading all right Okay, Karen, I'm doing readings on a on an exchange basis. So if you would like to do something in exchange or just give a little donation to my PayPal, if that's okay for you. I'm gonna pick something for you. Just let me know. And if you have any specific questions, it's good to be specific, guys. <laughs> general general readings are nice, but you can really be specific and say like, what's going on here? The candle. Still some wax in the candle. Isn't it nice? Oh, my tea. <laughs> Ah, I'm refreshed. Okay, Karen, let me know. <clears throat> what will be the topic on Sunday? Maybe I will do a double reading tomorrow. I don't want to make any promises, but maybe I will do a double reading with someone, double live readings. And on Sunday, another episode on Spirit Guides. And if I'm too tired, I will do it anyways. So this is my commitment to myself. On Sunday, next episode of Spirit Guides. And it will be about maybe fairies? We still haven't had the cosmic guides. Oop. Oh my gosh. Karen, is this for you? <laughs> I don't see a comment, but there's some major things going on here. <laughs> We've got three major cards. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. See all comments. Yes, general is great. Okay. Okay, Karen. This is I, I, I find it a little bit funny because it says the Empress release. <laughs> the Empress released the Emperor. <laughs> the Empress released the Emperor. I'm not saying get rid of your man, but it's like, um, it doesn't have to be that. It could be like releasing some kind of masculine person from your life. If you read it in one sentence. But if you don't read it in one sentence, if you read it like past, present, future, because that's what three cards are about. Okay, fairies, please bring me clarity for this. Thank you. Fairies. <laughs> Angels, 
what is this about? Okay, I'm doing past, present, future. So, the past, the impress, number three, impress. She's very structured, I think. Time to take action, the power of creativity, success that allows for a life of luxury. Is this apples or what is this? This little baby is sitting in some kind of leaf with apples or something. Divorcing. <laughs> I hope that's an empowering message for you. <clears throat> Take what resonates. Okay, so the Empress, which is like a feminine queen like energy. Um, what is it, the Empress? Um, Time to take action. I want to. I want to see. I want to see what's in the guidebook. Okay. The Empress. Voila. The planning phase of your endeavor is now over. Congratulations! You've done excellent work, sorting out what you are trying to accomplish and what you need in order to be a success. Now it's time to get busy. No more contemplating the perfect strategy. If there's a detail that seems to be missing from your plans, it will, it will reveal itself as you move forward. So fix your eyes on the horizon and get going. Creative endeavors are especially favored right now. This can include the desire to have children or taking up a new project that you consider to be your baby. Whenever possible, try to add an artistic flair to each step along the way. Infuse your tasks, great and small, with joy and the knowledge that nothing can hold you back. Our Empress stands in a chapel courtyard, symbolic of the source of inspiration. The infant wearing a hat inside the snow pea Don't eat the yellow snow. <laughs> snow pea. Snow pea. P E A. Snow pea. Shell demonstrates to the new uh, to the empress the importance of creating something new. This may be the birth of a child or the beginning of an exciting new endeavor. Hard work that pays off. Oh, mother, mother figures, pregnancy and birth. Okay, so it's about some kind of action. A love of luxur luxurious, luxurious things. Is some kind of action. Mother action. Number 13, it's a lucky number, release. Let go of the past, an ending that makes way for new opportunities. Time to move on. Oh, they say relationship. The fairies say relationship. It's um, usually this card is like doing some meditation, relaxation, but this is more for you. It's a release of a, of a relationship that has come to an end. And now you feel like, ah, oh, it's good. I'm on my own. Is that true? <laughs> is that true? As some kind of release. So could be could be all sorts. I don't know if it's connected to some kind of partnership. It could also be other people, business people, friends and family. Um, or it's like, okay, I don't need everybody in my life of them. <laughs> Sometimes it's feel, it feels good to say say goodbye to some. And 
here's the emperor in the possible future. Emperor. I feel strange in my stomach. Or is it just me? No, it's you. <laughs> Something is strange. Something is rotten in the state of Denmark. The emperor, that was Hamlet. Use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized, affirm, but compassionate leader. So this is a masculine energy. Emperor is a masculine leader, king-like energy. And he's got heart and mind connected. He's got his brains and his heart. He thinks and feels in harmony. He uses both in order to lead something moving forward. Um, I said Hamlet, and I think it's good to watch some kind of movie or read some kind of book. Movie, okay. Very same movie. Um, to understand some kind of relationships. It, it really works great when you when you see your life and your relationships reflected in some kind of books, stories, or songs, or movies, they can be like therapy when you look at them and you see like, ah, I see some similarities here, I feel some resonance, and then you can understand things better. So it's like um, watching a movie that helps to understand relationship patterns, um, so you know what to do with your mind, your brain, you understand it, and also using your heart for discernment, doing what feels right, and what you know, what you understand, like, okay, this sounds good, this sounds logic, and it feels right, so I'm taking the decisions that feel right, and that makes sense, things that make sense to me. I understand it now, I see it now. Okay, I follow my heart. I'm moving forward. I have some kind of action required still. Uh, in the near future, although now it's like more like relaxing release, like enjoying this, okay. <sighs> but there's, I feel there's some kind of action required when you understand things from another perspective and you follow your heart. Brain heart, taking action from that. Cool. <laughs> Interesting. Was that helpful for you? Ah. Now it's gone, but uh, there was something about the hurt in the stomach in the in the cards, um, and that's for for all people. Like when you feel <laughs> my throat chakra, it's vibrating. When you feel that. Now that's a message for myself too. When you feel that um, your stomach feels draining, it could be that it's some kind of karmic relationships or some, or doesn't have to be karmic, like going back to past lives. It's about attachments. Um, the heart chakra is related to our relationships, but the solar plexus chakra um is where attachments are created with other people and they are like energetic courts and when there's some kind of situations you can also have that with situations attached to situations or things attached to fairy friday i'm detaching from fairy friday now <laughs> <laughs> The attachments can be attached to your solar plexus and when it's a negative attachment it can feel like 
the energy is being sucked out there and then it feels like your stomach is like, oh, it hurts. Uh, I've got a lot of experience with that. It's like when you give your power away or when you don't set your boundaries or just those are the conscious things, but there are also subconscious, unconscious things. Sometimes you can be cursed. That's just how it is in this world. Um, there can be manipulations going on. And these are the, the, the energies that suck our, suck our energy, our vitality. And then we feel like I'm feeling like I'm drained here. And then it's good to cut the cords and really see, see through the entanglements and um, get clear. Uh, blessings. <laughs> Don't curse people, bless them. That creates good connections. Um, Cool. Yeah. Yeah, your past life will catch up with you. Past life will catch up with you to move forward. Yeah. When you understand your past better, it helps, it gives you like a push moving forward fearlessly and effortlessly. Uh, and the past can also hold you back in a negative way when when there's something from the past and also past lives and we're like I want to move forward but you feel like you're running on the spot and nothing's really happening it can be that there are some attachments or some karmic things some things from past lives that are holding yourself back you may be holding yourself back <laughs> um, yeah so that's good and if anyone needs help with that, clearing up the, if you connect with your spirit guides, Archangel Michael is great for clearing, clearing negative attachments, um, for discovering past lives, I would, I would really recommend um, connecting with a therapist or a regressionist. And, um, yeah, it's good. It's good to to get some help because it can be very tricky. So, if anyone wants to clear our past lives, I'm here. <laughs> I love it. So, blessings of clarity. May you be blessed with the best. I'm sending you love, peace, and gratitude. Until the next time. Oh. The end. For now. <laughs>